All right, guys, welcome to episode four. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at setting up our uh, Nginx server and uh, configuring it to serve our static sites. So I have two domain setups. Actually, I have a few, but those are for other servers. But the two that we're going to be using is this one here, checkin.me and CloudScribe. So I've pointed them to my server. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so let me log in. Into our server. And there we go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to a directory where I'm going to put all my static files, like the, the static file sites. So if I go into CD OPT, so there's a lot of argument online about where you want to actually put your sites. Uh, some people put in var slash www. Um, I don't know. I just think that this is the, the best folder to put stuff in. I don't know. I mean, I guess uh, there's not that much difference. Um, so I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to create a new folder called uh, so sudo make dir uh, and call it www. So something like that will work. So we're going to actually be managing this folder, like putting stuff in this folder, you know, so we should have uh, ability to write to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make this folder being owned by our, uh, our, our admin group. So sudo chgrp fnr and then uh, www. Oops. So giving it uh, read, write, and executable access. All right, so the first command, chgrp, is basically I'm setting uh, that directory should be uh, owned by the group admin. And chmod, basically we're setting the permission with the G plus uh, rwxs basically says that, uh, you know, everybody in this group can, uh, you know, read, write, and execute files in there. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, so now if we go into cdwww, if you want to make uh, another folder in here, we don't have to do sudo anymore. So that's because now as a deployer who's a group of admin, we have access to this folder. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and make another folder. So something like that. So this, I'm using the, the, uh, the domain name as a folder name. Okay, so I'm just going to create a basic uh, index, you know, HTML file in here. Uh, so VI. Yeah. All right. So here we're just going to write some very basic HTML, uh, you know, super, super simple stuff. So doc type. Oops. Close it out. All right, so pretty basic site, um, but the point is, you know, when we go to a certain domain, this page should show up. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. All right, so now we have some content. Uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a basic, uh, you know, configuration file in Nginx. So I'm just going to go and head over to the Etsy Nginx. Okay, so here uh, I'm going to create a new config file. So what I'm going to do is sudo vi checkin.me. So we start with a very basic server block. Uh, if you're familiar with Apache, uh, in Apache we call it virtual host, but uh, for Nginx it's called uh, a server block. So we tell it to listen on port 80. All right, so the server name is basically gonna be your domain name. Um, and then uh, you're gonna put in one more option called access log. So the access log, what it does is it allows you to um, monitor, you know, anybody who ever accesses your your server, uh, you know, through this domain, you can see like statistics, like where they're coming from and, you know, like what, uh, you know, 
what browser are we using and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to put that in the, the, the directory where we set up our, our site. So I'm just going to point it uh, to the access.log. And basically, Nginx is automatically going to create that file for us, so we don't need to do anything. Uh, we just need to have that folder, and we already have that. Um, basically, whatever comes through uh, our server is going to get written to there. All right, so now we just need to set the root. All right, so that's basically pretty much it. I mean, that's really all we need to get started with a config file for Nginx. And that will probably work, um, unless I made some typo. So let's go ahead and try that out. OK, so now that we have a, uh, an Nginx config file, um, what we're going to do is now we need to enable it. So in our sites enabled, we need to actually enable our, our, our new site. So in, in sites available, we have checkin.me and we have the default one that came with Nginx installation. Now we're going to CD out and we're going to CD into sites enabled. All right, so now you will see that the file that we have here is a default one. That's the one that was uh, created when we set up Nginx. So we need to create one for our site. Uh, so the thing is, sites enable only has symbolic links to sites available. Uh, so basically, we need to create a symbolic link for checkin.me uh, in, in order to enable Nginx to register it as a, as a site on the server. So let's do that. So sudo ln hyphen s etsy nginx slash sites available. slash checkin.me, checkin.me. All right, that looks good. Okay, something is not right. Uh, it shouldn't be red, uh, so it should be basically, uh, you know, it should be blue uh, if everything is working. So let me just quickly cat out checkin.me. Okay, so no such file directory. Let's see why. I probably did a, uh, there we go. Um, so let me remove that. Uh, I spelled available wrong uh, in my, when I was creating my symbolic link. So sudo rm chicken dot me. S at C engine X slash sites available slash chicken dot me. All right, so that's working. Um, so now what we need to do is, because we have a new symbolic link created, we need to restart our Nginx server. So sudo, service, all right, so if everything worked, correctly, uh, you should get something like this, like are we starting Nginx, okay, and all that stuff. If nothing happens, then there's probably a problem in your configuration file. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to debug later. I'm gonna actually intentionally go ahead and add a mistake in our uh, server block, and then I'm gonna show you what happens when you restart and it's not working, and how we can go ahead and debug that. All right, so now that I have my domain set up, if I head over to www.checkin.me, Voila, it works. Awesome. So now we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, you know, we've got the title and everything. Everything seems to be working. But if we remove the www in front, um, we just access it from checkin.me. What happens is it goes back to welcome to Nginx because it cannot find that uh, directive for, um, you know, for just the plain Jane checkin.me without a www. So what we need to do is basically we need to set up our server block with a little bit more detail and tell it what to do. So we're going to go into CD sites available. 
and we're gonna do sudo vi check-in.me just to edit that file that we created earlier. And we're gonna add another uh, server block. So this one is gonna handle uh, just the plain Jane check-in.me without the www. Uh, listen on port 80, perfect. Server name. So what we're gonna do is, instead of rewriting access log and root and all that config all over again, we're just gonna return 301. Uh, so based on HTTP return code, that's something like, uh, I think it's redirect permanently or something, moved permanently or something. Um, and so basically, uh, what we're saying is, uh, if somebody types in checkin.me into the browser and we hit the server, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna redirect them to the www server block. That's all that that's doing. So you may be wondering what I'm typing out here, like what the hell is scheme and then all that stuff. So I'm just gonna explain in a sec. So basically, Scheme and redirect URI are Nginx variables, and uh, they basically mean the HTTP in front of your uh, URL. So you know, I just type in HTTP colon slash slash, all that stuff. So it could be either HTTP or HTTPS. Um, whatever it is, it's gonna get passed over here. And redirect URI is whatever path you use after. So it could be like slash page one slash post or whatever that's gonna get passed over here and it's gonna join. So basically what we're doing is, if somebody hits the server with checkin.me URL server name, it's basically gonna return a 301 and redirect them to the new URL, maintaining the same scheme and uh, the path. That's all that is. So that looks good. Um, so you might notice I haven't put any semicolon over here. So. I'm just gonna show you how to debug, like in case there's a problem and you know Nginx is not restarting for you or whatever. Um, so I'm just intentionally putting that in there. Um, so let's go ahead and save that. And now I'm gonna do a sudo service Nginx restart. So that didn't show the okay message because there is an error in our configuration file. So how do we know that there's a problem in our configuration file? I mean, it doesn't put out any error or anything like that. So it's, you know, it's pretty cryptic. Like, you know, where do we start, right? So the first thing is Nginx has a global log. Uh, so basically where it outputs all the log, you know, errors and whatever. Uh, so it's located in CD var logs and slash Nginx. Whoops. So in here, um, you'll be able to see the error.log. So I'm just gonna do a tail hyphen f error.log. So as you can see, it tells you, um, you know, unexpected something, uh, etsy nginx site enable check in me line number five. Okay, well, that's enough detail for us to figure out what's going on. So, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and figure it out. So we're gonna go back to our Etsy Nginx. So remember, Sites Enable has a symbolic link that uh, Nginx reads and it points to the file that we set up in Sites av Available. That's why we're gonna go and edit the file in there. So I'm gonna do sudo vi and uh, check in.me. All right, so here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our semicolon at the end. Okay, so we're gonna restart Nginx. Whoops, 
still a problem. Um, so let's go ahead and go back into our file and see if we can find out what's wrong with it. Okay, so um, the one of the variables that I used is wrong. It's not redirect URI. Uh, I don't know where I got that from, but it should be request URI. Yep. All right, so now let's restart our Nginx server. And that should work. All right, that looks good. So let's go ahead and um, go to checkin.me now and reload and see what happens. All right, so everything seems to be working. We went to checkin.me and we redirected us to www.checkin.me and everything seems to be working now. Um, so as you can see, I mean, it's, it's very simple for us to kind of set up a server and you know, make it serve static sites. You know, pretty simple, but here's the problem. I mean, nobody actually really writes code on their server, on their production server, right? So we actually write code in our uh, local development environment on our own computer. And then when we're done, we push code up to our production server. So in the next episode, what I'm gonna show you how to do is set up a Git repository on your server where once you're done you know, developing your site, modifying it, adding CSS or whatever, making it look pretty, um, you can push code back to your server to deploy. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be what's coming up in the next episode and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys.